Hi guys, I know so many of you have uni pizza makers or you love to make pizza at home. I'm gonna show you today an easy way using a Cuisinart food processor, how to make a very quick, simple pizza dough. So we're going to start off and one of the keys to making any type of baked goods is to use bottled water, distilled water, or just plain old bottled water because if you're using tap water, especially like in the city that I live in, um, you will find that there's quite a bit of chlorination and other things added. So what happens is that causes a problem with the yeast. So I am using bottled water. Now I'm using my handy dandy little therm thermometer. I want to get this water to 105 to 115. So it is at that. I am going to use Fleischmann's yeast and I've got that right here. And I'm going to use two teaspoons of Fleischmann's yeast. And you heard that, it's fresh. So we're gonna go ahead and put two teaspoons of yeast in that warm water. And then we are going to put one teaspoon of granulated sugar. There we go. And we're gonna stir that. Meanwhile, we're gonna get everything else ready. So I'm gonna put this on the side. It needs to sit about five minutes and you'll see if the yeast is working, it'll start to bubble. If the yeast isn't, then you need to throw it out and start all over. So we're gonna put this on the side over here and let it do its thing. Now, in my Cuisinart food processor, I have a 14 cup food processor. I'm just gonna use my blade here and instead of sifting my flour, I am going to go ahead and just put it in here. And the reason why is because when I process this, it's going to sift it. Now I'm also going to add with that um, some kosher salt. So I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt and it's gonna go right in there. There we go. And we'll go ahead and get this on. So it is basically separating. I when if it calls for sifting and I'm doing things in the food processor, I just let the food processor sift for me. We're going to stop it here for a second, well, a little bit more than a second, because what we want to do is let that yeast do its thing, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what how to finish this. We're back. We're going to now. After we've done this and while this is being uh, bubbling and getting ready, we're going to go ahead and take two teaspoons of olive oil. We're going to add that into the feed tube right here. And then we're gonna take a teaspoon of olive oil and put it into our bowl that we're going to use to let this rise. Now there is a rising time and we wanna have it rise till it's double. I'm trying to get this olive oil in there on this bowl. All right, now let me get this over here. As you can see, you see the bubbles? That's just where we want it. So that was one and a quarter cup of water. And remember, try not to use tap water. Tap water will work, it may not give you the same results though. All right, we're gonna slowly pour this in. Let's see how you can see this, do it this way. There we go. And what's gonna happen after about 30 seconds after we get all of it in, it will form a ball and that will do the kneading for us. We don't need to really do any kneading at all because the food processor is going to take care of it for, for you. Now, if you have a seven cup food processor, I don't think this is gonna work for you. So you need something a little bit bigger, 11 or a 14 or a 15. I really have loved this Cuisinart. It has been great for doing vegetables, doing um, dips, and really doing just about anything that I need. I think I showed you how to slice up some zucchini in it and how to grate some cucumber, Yep, it's a good tool to have in your kitchen. I have the little bitty tiny Cuisinart too that I use for prep for other things. We're getting close. There we go. You hear it, you hear the sound change? And I know you can see it. It's starting to form a ball. There we go. Now I like to get that bit of foam in there. There's always that foam. Here we go. We're going to 
let this bleed for about 30 seconds. See, isn't this easy? So tonight, this will make enough for two deep dish pizzas. Usually I give some to my neighbor, but I'll, I think I'm gonna freeze some and then we'll be able to use it for something else. It's not only for pizza, you can use it for little tiny uh, dough packages, empanadas, just about anything basically. All right, I think we're good to go. So we're gonna take this out. And remember, you can use you can use your dishwasher to clean this. This is what's so nice about these new appliances. So let me show you how elastic and soft this dough is. It just really is nice. So let me get in here. So see the elasticity? That is nice and it's nice and warm. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm turning it under like this and then I'm going to take my bowl and I'm going to um, get that top done and then flip it over and make sure that the entire bowl is covered with that olive oil. So let me show you what it's gonna look like. All right, the next step is I will cover it, make sure it, it is completely covered, and then I will let it rise in a warm spot. Usually I let it rise in my oven, but I'm baking some chocolate chip cookies right now, so I can't let it rise in my oven at 100 degrees. So I'm gonna put it under one of my hot, um, kitchen areas and put it in one of the hot kitchen areas and let it rise. And then when it has doubled, I'll split it off. Then I'll form it in my, since we're gonna do deep dish in the uni, I will form it in my deep dish and let it rise again. And that's it, it's good to go, it's ready to go. And you can take it, you can freeze it, you can put it in your refrigerator, in a plastic bag, seal it, and you've got pizza. It's easy, easy using your Cuisinart. So give it a try, I think you'll like it.